November 13th, baby, the new moon. It's time for the liver flush today. This is Gavin Mayo. I've been doing this liver flush, man, for probably, well, I started doing it in 20, uh, 20, fifth, end of 2015, early 2016, seriously. And now I'm on liver flush. I lost count. But less than 40, more than 30, a lot. And I'm still not done. I mean, I took, I took some time off from it, feeling like I was kind of cleaned out. But now I'm, I'm just not done. I know I'm not. I've got more stones to clean out. And so just one tip on the liver flush that I wanted to add. In, again, tonight what I'm going to be doing is, is uh, starting the Epsom salt right now. I already got the mason jars laid out, Epsom salt and water. And then at 6, I'm going to go see Lana at, you know, for colonics. That's going to be the liver flush prep, colonics. Got to do that first. And then I'll be doing the olive oil and lemon, of course, Epsom salt again at eight. And then olive oil and lemon juice at 10. Sleep deep, wake up at six, Epsom salt in the morning with water. And then at eight, another Epsom salt and water. I got an early day tomorrow. So it'll be, I'll be on the road doing that, you know, basically making things happen. So uh, that, that said, one thing to add to the liver flush tonight with the olive oil and lemon juice is I'm adding the Epsom salt, a pinch of that to it. it seems to you know, work as a little bit of a mixture to make, to get the stones loosened up even more and hopefully have a, have a better liver flush than ever before, or as, as good as I've ever had. So that's my intent right now is just to have the best liver flush ever and freaking get closer and closer to cleaning my liver out to where I could then, you know, get to that mystical place of like breathing in so deep where I have like a third lung inside my you know, my chest where the liver's so opened up and pure and the gallbladder is just so fresh and clean that I don't get wrinkles on my face. You know, I mean, again, I'm not, not anywhere near perfect. I mean, I'm just saying I want to get to the point where I, I stop aging, no more aging, you know, no more getting older, stay freaking incredibly tight and lean and crisp and my skin stays smooth and my mind stays, gets sharper and sharper you know, over time so that my, and all, how is it done? Ultimately, because my butt, blood is pumping throughout my body and all my cells deep down into all the other little, little cell structures of the entire body and the brain to a clean liver. That's where it's going. I'm pretty, it's, I'd say it's pretty clean right now, but it's not all the way clean. I know that for sure. I could tell. And I keep having stones every time I've been doing it every month. So uh, today's the new moon. Challenge anybody out there to be do, keep do, doing it. You know, and I know there's a bunch of people that do it that I talk to. And so hopefully this gives you some motivation to get it done. And I know that I'm still sticking to the plan about clean liver. And it, this is like, well, one more thing about the liver at Flush is it's such a, a pure way of cleaning and detoxing the body. You know, so many people out there are just trying to cheat the system by taking stuff, you know? And I mean, dude, I'm all about like getting an edge and working on taking things to try to, you know, get an additional edge. However, there's no shortcut to cleaning out the liver, you know, and all these things about trying to reverse the age. And, you know, a lot of these things are just surface on the surface. And they're just, a, you know, a lot of great ways for companies to make money and sell products when the person hasn't even cleaned out their liver yet, you know, or even tried to. So, you know, I really hope that this inspires anyone who sees it to really focus on the foundation and the focus on the very beginning of the basics, cleaning out the most, like the, the organs, the most important, you know, cleansing organs in the body, the liver and the gallbladder. Once those get cleaned out, now it takes time. You keep on doing the liver flush every single month on the new moon. Then over time, you know, these other things you probably won't even think you need. That's where I'm at. I, I don't need, uh, taking, taking all these additional, you know, medications or supplements. I mean, I take some supplements, but moderate stuff. I mean, I'm not taking anything that's uh, like illegal shots or something or crazy, you know, stuff that you get from a doctor, all that, you know, moderate things, but I really feel like I don't really need a lot of supplements. Uh, you know, the body gets all of it, what it mostly what it needs from, from food. I mean, and from, uh, you want to meet in the carnivore diet, of course, and then water, man, just really good, pure John Ellis water. Do drink a lot of drink coffee every day for your love coffee, of course, but, uh, you know, good oxygen, you know, and just, uh, but yeah, that ultimately just cleaning that thing out. It's just, uh, been, it's been tremendously refreshing. While I hate the Epsom salt, I'm looking over there, just like gagging, looking, thinking about it, but it's coming up next. And so is my, uh, my colonics appointment. So this is Gavin Mail. Hopefully I can inspire you to get it out there and freaking clean that thing out, man. Get lean, 
get get all cut up and get like just to this point of of total uh you know totally cleansed out body the you know your the metabolism i've noticed it really works well like i don't have to really i mean i'm new eating the carnivore diet but i'm not measuring calories like i used to and i mean i'm walking i'm zero, doing zero cardio i guess if you consider running sprints you know running sprints is that cardio not really that's like high intensity so i'm running sprints walking you know but i'm not like going on a treadmill running a freaking bike or stairmaster and all that crap i don't i hate that stuff so you know really the metabolism starts to work really you know refined and incredibly well with this liver flush that's one thing i've noticed over time so all right like comment subscribe if you like videos like this man we'll see you next time and share this video with somebody that you care to do the freaking liver flush they probably need to hear about it man i'll tell you this is gavin mail